Welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be learning about an artist called Paul Clay. Now, Paul Clay had a particular love for cats, and he had numerous cats through his life. Your challenge, by the way, is to find out what the name of one of those cats was for next week. We're going to be looking at the book called The Cat and the Bird. And this book is a story about a cat that is trapped in a house or an apartment that can't get out to the garden. We're going to be looking at one of Paul Clay's paintings of a cat and drawing our own Paul Clay cat. So I hope you enjoy today's lesson, follow along and let's get started. Paul Clay was a Swiss German abstract expressionist artist. Like many artists, he loved his pets. He had a particular love for his cats. And one of his most famous paintings is called Cat and the Bird. The following story is based on that painting. Cat and the Bird is written by Geraldine Alsher and illustrated by Peggy Knoll. I had everything I needed to be happy in my house with blue shutters. I had a cozy basket, warm milk, and toys, grass to nibble on, and a shiny tag on my collar with my name engraved on it. But my perfect house was a gilded cage. It was locked up tight and the key turned around twice. So from morning to evening and from evening to morning, I sat by the window and dreamed the garden outside was so wonderfully beautiful. I closed my eyes tight. I could sense the scent of the chestnuts, the red leaves of autumn, the soft carpet of moss beneath my paws, the murmuring of the stream, and high up in the treetop, you. How beautifully you sang, how deliciously beautiful. For ages I would listen to you and lick my lips. I have to admit, I wanted to catch you very much. One stroke of my claws, a snap of the teeth and crack. I felt I could already taste you in my mouth, completely forever. But something inside me was even stronger than the urge to devour you. Deep inside, I envied you. You were free free to fly wherever you wanted, to come and go as you pleased. You were free and I was captive. So I devoured you only with my eyes and then I called out to you. Hello bird, your beak is so sharp. You can bore holes in the tree trunks. Why don't you peck at the bars of my prison? You answered me with a song, a cat in a cage what a funny sight, but would it be wise to help you? How can I be sure that you won't eat me up? I looked at you straight in the eyes and said, I give you my word, plain and simple, and a promise is a promise. This was enough for you, pick, pick. Without a moment's hesitation, you began to pick away the bars of my cage. And soon I was free, scampering after you on the roof of my house with the blue shutters. Bounding from the tower to the bridge, and from the bridge to the chimney, I sprang to the edge of the horizon, and there I danced for joy, in the moonlight. Thank you, little bird. I will never forget you. Your image will always be engraved in my memory, completely forever. For this project we are going to be drawing a cat and the bird in the same style that Paul Clay painted his painting. Pause the video now and have a look at the particular geometric shapes that Paul Clay uses to make up the cat's face. See if you can identify the different shapes in the face. For this project you are going to need the following, an A4 piece of white paper, an eraser, pencil, 
some colored pastels or colored pencils if you do not have colored pastels. I'm going to start my drawing by drawing a big letter M. It fills almost the whole page. I think this M looks almost like a McDonald's sign. Now, turn your paper around. I'm going to drain the tips or the ends of the, the M with the middle. You can experiment with the shape of line that you use. I'm going to use a big looping line. This is going to form the cat's nose. To draw the eyes, I'm going to draw rugby ball shapes. They look almost like an oval, but in the shape of a rugby ball. You can make them narrow or wide in order to give your cat a different personality. Experiment with these ovals. For the nose, I'm going to insert a heart shape. Underneath the nose, I'm going to insert the mouth. And for the whiskers, you can experiment with different kinds of lines. A zigzag line or straight elongated line. This will give your cat some personality. On top of the cat's head, I'm going to draw the bird that appears in the story. Paul Clay drew the bird in the shape of a fish first and then added further shapes for the head and the legs. The colours that you add to your cat's face don't necessarily need to be natural colours. So, in my cat's face, I'm going to add warm colours in the nose, the cheeks and the ears. And then the eyes and the tip of the nose, the heart shape, I'm going to add cool colours. You could use coloured pencils or if you have pastels, you can experiment with your pastels and try to blend the colours together. Well, I certainly enjoyed drawing my own Paul Clay cat. I, said, I really liked the way that he used different shapes in his cat and the way that he used colour and line to emphasize those shapes. I'm really looking forward to seeing your, your Paul Clay cats. You can submit them on Google Classroom and I'm gonna see you in next week's episode.